Hey folks, uh, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is more graphing absolute value functions. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let's go to that site real quick, you guys. So here's MrMathBlog.com, and this is Integrated Math 2. So if you click that link right there and then scroll down, you'll just see as the year goes on, it just keeps being filled up, and we're going to be doing this lesson right here. So when you click that, there you go. All right, so let's get started here. So we're going to sketch a graph of each function. Now your, your textbook's going to ask you to predict the graph and then verify using your graphing calculator. But our students don't have uh, graphing calculators, at least most of them don't. So we're just going to go ahead and graph. And it's not that hard anyways. Okay, so here's HK. Remember, this is HK. So the vertex is opposite same. Okay, so the opposite of this number is positive 3. And the same of this number is 1. So 3, 1 right there. And then we use this like our slope right here. And if it's an absolute value, this is going down because it's negative right there. And so that's uh, we go down four and then over one on both sides. So from here we go down one, two, three, four, and then over one, and then just connect them up. And there you go. Okay. All right. So here's another one here. So opposite same for the vertex. So it's going to be at negative two, negative three. Okay. Now this one's going up, so it's going to be going up five over one. Okay. So if we go up 5 over 1 on both sides and then connect them up with our vertex and there we go. Okay, and I'd like you to be able to recognize those ordered pairs. So if you're in my class, please recognize, you know, what the ordered pairs are that you're going up on those just so I know that you know uh, what's going on. Okay, so here we have a fraction inside the absolute value. Well, the absolute value of 3 fourths is just 3 fourths. So you can just pull that out and then treat it the same now. So opposite same. So negative 5, negative 2. And then notice how this scale is going by twos now okay so so when I go uh, negative five it's going to be here's two four here's negative five and then down to negative two there's the vertex right there okay and then uh, as we go uh, um, up three to the right or up three over four to the right and left four this is going up so three is going to be here's two so three and then over four so here's two four four would be right there so that's at what negative nine one and then same on the other side you guys so uh up three over four okay and then just connect them up there's our there's our uh, absolute value graph right there okay all right so when there's a negative inside you guys Remember, the absolute value of any negative number is a positive number. So we can pull that uh, negative 7 thirds out, and it becomes a positive 7 thirds out on the outside right here. Now, if it was negative on the outside, it would be going down. But since it's negative on the inside of the absolute value, it comes out as positive. Now, just be careful, you guys. A lot of students want to treat the x minus 2 since it's in the absolute value as x plus 2. And we can't do that, you guys. This minus 2 tells us where the vertex is right there. So keep the because this is x minus 2. It's not just negative 2. It's x minus 2. Okay, so we don't know what x is, and it just tells us where to locate the vertex. Okay, so there's like a plus 0 right there, so the vertex is opposite same, so 2, 0, and then we go up 7 over 3. Okay, so the, again, these are going by 2s, so 2, 4, 6, and then 7, and then over 3, 2, 3. So this is going to be at uh, negative 1, uh, 7 right there and then same on the other side so up uh, 7 over 3 and then just connect them up and there you go okay alright now we're gonna state the domain and range of each of those graphs in section uh, a remember domain is uh, X movement so how much do we go to the left and to the right it goes to the left forever and to the right forever this graph it's going down but it is going this way and it is going this way and it does go down forever but it does not go up forever so it's, it peaks out at this y value of the vertex at, at 1. So we can just say y is, uh, for the range, y is less than or equal to 1, and your domain is all real numbers right there, okay? All right, here's number 2. Okay, again, domain and range is uh, forever, so all real numbers. And then so this bottoms out at negative 3, so y is greater than or equal to negative 3, okay? So domain is always an x answer, range is always a y answer, okay? And so we use the vertex, the y coordinate of the vertex, to help determine our range. Okay, so here's number 3. So domain goes uh, all real numbers again. Now later, you guys, we're going to have absolute values that open to the left or to the right. Um, and uh, the domain changes then 
Okay, so anyway, so all real numbers and then your range is uh, y is greater than or equal to negative 2, okay? And then finally we had this one, so uh, domain and range is uh, uh, all real numbers. This is for x and then y is greater than or equal to 0 for the range, okay? All right, so write the equation of the absolute value of the graph. It's going to be graphed for us and we're supposed to put it in standard form. This is the standard form that uh, I am most comfortable with and so are the other math teachers that are high school right here. So your book's going to have some other directions where they insert b and we just weren't comfortable with that where b is greater than zero. Just, just do this form right here and that'll be just great you guys. So here we go. Here's number one. Okay, so we need to find hk first. So this looks like it's at, uh, these are going by two. So two, two, five. So there's hk right there. So we know at least that part of the graph. Now to get what a is, you guys, you just find a point that this graph is going through, okay? And then we just substitute it in for that x and that y right there, and then we just solve for a. So there's all kinds of points you can pick. You can pick a negative one, uh, what is that? Two, four, six, so negative one, six. I liked this one better, 6, 6. That way we can just, we don't have to worry about which one's X and which one's Y so much. So I'm going to substitute in 6, 6 and then just solve for A. Okay, 6 minus 2 is 4. So this is uh, absolute value of 4 is 4. So this is 4A right here plus 5, and then we'll subtract the 5 from the 6 and make it 1. So 4a equals 1, so a equals 1 fourth, and then we're done, you guys. So uh, there's our equation right there, okay? All right, let's try it again with this one here, okay? So first, let's find the vertex. These are going by 2, so this is over 1, up 6, so 1, comma 6. There's our hk. And then substitute in any point that you want right here. So I know it's going down, so... We know that a is going to be negative right there, but it'll become negative when we substitute in this point. And I chose 0, 3. You can choose any point you want. We could have chose this one, 3, 0. Just be sure that you know that this is x and this is y. Okay, so um, here 0 minus 1 is negative 1, but the absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1. So we have 3 equals 1a plus 6. So we'll subtract 6 and we get... Um, uh, 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 a equals negative 3, and then there's our answer right there, okay? Piece of cake, right? Piece of absolute value. All right, here's one more, you guys. HK, so negative 5, negative 1. So remember, it goes opposite, same. And then just pick any point. I chose uh, this dude way up here. You could have picked any point, though. Any point that you're sure that it goes through, okay? So this one, we picked 0, 9. Okay, and then um, and then just solve for a. So when you solve for a, we get a equals 2, and then there's our answer right there. Okay, you guys, if you are in my class, you're going to get that for your assignment. Take care.